Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tony with GameZone.com, and today we're taking a look at Skulls of the Shogun. This is a pretty uh, interesting game where it's a turn-based strategy game, and it's beautiful. Uh, the art style is amazing, and uh, I've been playing just to get through the tutorial so I'd know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, but that's about as much of the game as I've seen. I've seen about uh, 30 minutes of it so far, and now I'm going to take a look at it here. It is on Steam. I'm playing the PC version of it, and it looks amazing. <laughs> So as you can see, this is uh, our Shogun here, and uh, he died, and he didn't want to wait in line to get to heaven, so he is fighting back. And it's so far an interesting storyline, it's really funny, it's really well written. I highly recommend uh, if you're into, uh, even if you're not into these turn-based strategy games like myself, I am not a turn-based strategy guy, but this is cool. The uh, the story is great and the writing is really funny. It's it's hilarious. So right now they're talking about haunting a rice paddy. All right, so the controls took a little getting used to. Um, it's pretty simple though. It's, you can pretty much click on the map and it it'll let you do whatever you want, uh, you know, whatever it's supposed to do contextually. Uh, but um, it, it's it took a little bit getting used to. There's like 18 different ways to to move your character around and select things. Ending your turn up here is weird, uh, you know. So so it's just kind of kind of awkward. So he's haunting that shrine. I'm going to move him over to haunt this shrine. So, like, I can double-click right here, or I can click on it over here. So it, it's really user-friendly. It's really up to however your play style is. So I did my turns, the enemy's gonna do their turns. All right, got some haunted rice. So a unit can leave a haunted patty and still get rice, but any unit on a haunted patty recovers two hit points as their turn starts. Okay. I am not good at these games. Attack! Now, after you kill an enemy, you want to eat their skull, so... I can go ahead and tell this guy to run over here and maybe, I don't know if he can get there, yeah. Uh, eat his skull, and then if you eat three skulls, then your unit gets uh, uh, increased, so it becomes like a power-up, so you become a demon. And uh, that's a really fun thing to do, strategy-wise, to try and uh, use your turns to eat the skulls, but you also have to use your turns to kill the enemy, so. Pretty cool. I'll try and get my archer a little closer. That turns. This just makes me want Chinese food. I know that's wrong. I know that's wrong on so many levels, but that's what I want right now. Spirit wall is when uh, you are lined up with multiple, uh, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me, uh, when two uh, two or more are, are bunched up together, get that red circle around them, that's a spirit wall, so that protects you from knockback. Pretty useful. Let's see if we can get this guy in here. Oh yeah. Oh shoot. 
So the Shogun Master back here, he definitely wants us eating skulls. Let's see if we can get a skull in here. There we go. Oh wait, we want to attack. See, now do I eat the skull or do I attack this guy? I want to attack this guy. Turns again. Turn-based games, not the most exciting let's play, but it's pretty good. It's definitely fun to play, and storyline's built into the gameplay, so it's not like you're sitting there watching storyline. You're actually playing through the storyline, which is great. Not a lot of games, oh, game, a lot of games do that, but it's rare, and I like to see it. So there's a potion on the ground we can drink. See? Cute little quips in there. Do we drink the potion? Now you can move around a little bit after you've, after you've killed someone. You can kind of move a little bit to get out of range. Or There you go, hide in the brush. So now I'm 80%. Uh, 80% chance to hit me as opposed to 100% chance. I took a chance there. Could have moved him forward, but I didn't. I was lazy. So I get some health points when I eat skulls, and I get, uh, if I get three skulls, I get to turn into a demon, so that looks cool. You always want to keep your guy in the back. You know, you want to keep the Shogun in the back. Try to protect him as much as possible. Oh, I threaded the needle on that. Okay, stop. All right, that hurt, that hurt. That hurt the team. That hurt the team dynamic. You got archers, I got archers. Look at that, oh boy. I wanted to do this Let's Play earlier, but I had skateboarders outside the office today, and that was pretty interesting. Um, I like to consider myself a cool guy, but I had to like be an adult and go outside and tell the skateboarders. Oh no! I told them I had to. I told them they had to leave. I felt bad, you know. I was like, you know, keep skating, have a good time. Anyway. Well, now they're gone, so... I'm just kind of running through the storyline here. So it's a long game. I, I don't... I, I could probably play it for the next six hours. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys a look at it. Let you take a look at it. See what it looks like. Look at it. Just look. You know? Look. Don't touch. Um, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you like it. Oh, we got these rice patties. We're going to haunt these. Leave a comment below. Uh, let me know if you uh, if you plan on uh, picking up Skulls of the Shogun and if you like it. I don't believe it's a new game. I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's been out already. You probably know these things, but uh, uh, I, I know I've seen this game before. So uh, I think it's out now for PC. It was out on uh, Xbox Live. That's right. I know what I'm talking about. This game was out on Xbox Live and now it's out for uh, PC and Steam. I think it looks beautiful. I think they did a great job uh, with it. I think the look looks uh, awesome. I uh, like the way the look looks. I think the look looks good. That's all. That's all I'm saying. But uh, definitely check it out. Uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. And for the latest in gaming news, reviews, tips, cheats, and more, go to GameZone.com.